Oh. Hey, yo, we are at the Fox River picnic area, parking area. Still part of Moraine Hill State Park. Yeah. The... But we're next to the, the McHenry Dam, I think. Is... Yeah, well, that's right over there, which we'll take some video of. It's a little lunchtime. Hot spot for fishing, this spot that we're in. But yeah, lunchtime. And goose, geese. And lots of lots of geese. Freaking geese. And look at this pine forest. Holy cow. So we picked a nice spot here. What do we got for lunch today? Well, you tell me. I'm not exactly sure. You made the sandwiches today. I know it's your bread, and I know it's sunflower butter. That is correct on both counts. Oh, but you used the rhubarb jelly. Rhubarb and was it rhubarb strawberry or straight up rhubarb? Uh, I think it's just a straight up rhubarb. I could be wrong. Is it rhubarb strawberry? I can't. I can't. I can't remember, but it's rhubarb definitely. For sure on the yeah. rhubarb. So we uh, <laughs> we're still experimenting with the different jellies and, and butters. Although the sunflower butter seems to be in its winning position all of, all the time. Um, But this rhubarb is really pretty great. Um, when we picked it up, I shared a story with Ryan about when I land, drove into uh, Glacier National Park. I was in East Glacier Village, uh, staying the night, and I walked into uh, my diner and got a rhubarb pie. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was my appetizer. I had a rhubarb pie just, just sitting down, and then I think I had a cheeseburger that I had like a blueberry pie for dessert. <laughs> the rhubarb pie was the first thing to catch your eye. <laughs> just, rhubarb pie is on the menu. Let this be a tip for you, boys and girls. <laughs> rhubarb pie is on the, on the menu. <laughs> you pick that out. You go all in on the rhubarb pie. Yeah, I'm big fans. I'm big fans of pine forests. Something else I have is goji berries. So uh, I really like goji berries, and I don't see them at a ton of uh, markets, but I like to get them when I see them. Superfood. Let's see. Traditional Chinese medicine practitioners use, use goji berries. For what? <laughs> Goji fields of China. When the leeches didn't work. <laughs> What's that iron? Is there a lot of iron in other berries? I have no idea, but it is. No, I won't even. Won't even go there, but. Um... Yeah, I have no idea. Huh. Where do you see the iron? Oh, wow. That's what I'm saying. That looks... That looks more like contaminated soil problems. <laughs> <laughs> hope not. I hope not, too. <laughs> A lot of potassium. All right. I like sense. rhubarb better than the goji berries. That's my... True. My pick of the day is rhubarb. Your pick of the day? Oh, for sure the sandwiches, oh, man. Okay. <laughs> sandwiches all day, every day. You know, there's nothing like a PB and J when hiking. It's it's easy to make, it's easy to carry, but you got to get strong bread. So if you're not making your own, get a strong bread. Wonder bread does not cut it. Get a nice, get a nice rye or pumpernickel. Or uh, yeah, or an eight grain or something like that. Yeah, Petridge Farm over, well, uh, uh, fresh baked over Pepperidge. everything. Pepperidge Farm. Pepperidge Farm over Wonder. Yeah. Good sturdy bread. We have new jellies that we're gonna announce to you later on. So keep an eye out for the sandwich sessions because we have a lot more jellies to share with you.